Hunnigan, what happened? The transmission got cut off. <laughs> Salazar, how'd you... We've jacked the line. We didn't want you telling everyone any unnecessary information. Where's Ashley? Ah, oh, so she fell into one of our wonderful traps. We'll make sure we find her. Don't you worry about her. Oh, yes. I let our miserable insects out for some exercise down in the sewer. Thanks. That should keep me company, because boredom kills me. I look forward to our next encounter in another life. What a charming man. Oh, it'd be rude not to go say hi to his pets. Right, you're loaded. Let's equip you. Alright. I think we're good to go. Damn bugs. Trying to waste all of my machine gun ammo. Oh, really? Just one shot from that? I should probably stick to this. More shotgun shells. Perfect. Alright. Oh, goody. More boy racers out and about. Anything in you? No. Oh shit! Oh god, carried it like that. Alright, that did not go well at all. Alright, maybe that one shot with the rifle was a fluke. I heard you. things. Right, you're too rusty. Is 
It looks like he was alive until just recently. Judging by the wound, it was a quick death. Well, that's lucky. Lewis's memo. There are some parasites that have the ability to control their hosts. It's basic knowledge among biologists, but not much is known as to how the parasites do, do it. Studying these parasites specifically might reveal some clues as to how the powers of the Las Plagas work and perhaps provide more insight into the victims of the Las Plagas, the Los Ganados. Here is a list of some parasites that have the ability to manipulate the behavioural patterns of their host. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that because I am not smart. Once the larvae of this parasite migrates to the ant's esophagus, it alters the behaviour of the ant. When the temperature drops in the evening, the infected ant climbs to the top of a plant and climbs onto a leaf using its mandible. It stays there immobile until the next morning, placing the ant where it's most vulnerable to be eaten by a browsing herbivore such as, such as sheep. One could conclude that the parasite is manipulating the host's behaviour to make its way into the body of its definitive host. Another one I'm not even going to uh, attempt to pronounce. The larvae of this parasite makes, it, makes its home inside the brain of a fish such as the yellowtail and the parrot bass. Once infected, the fish make their way up to the water's surface where they'll swim until eaten by seabirds. Once again, this peculiar behaviour can only be explained by the parasite's desire to get into the bodies of the seabirds. Third, third time's the charm. This parasite's sporocytes, spor, sporocytes develop in the snail's tentacle. This, uh, the sporocytes are vivid in colour and pulsate continually, somewhat like a worm. Surprisingly, the infected snail makes its way to the top of a plant where it is more visible to the eyes of birds, therefore more likely to be eaten. Once eaten by the bird, the parasite will complete its metamorphosis into an adult. Lovely. There we go. Very important information there. All right. Ah, one of those. More shotty shells, thank you. No, thank you. Right, let's... Uh, I need a blue one of these to finish you off.
hate these bloody things. Right, so anything in the, in here? No. Bastard. Ah, I need blue, not red. Right, nothing else hit. Excuse me. Of the easy trap to get through. Okay. hoping to get all of them. <sighs> Damn it. Well, at least I've got the the red guy. annoying but I've got the red guy and he's got the uh, expensive bit of jewelry on him so that's something at least yes more shotty shells ah you hid up here did you good man Cheers. Hey, guy, how you doing? Welcome. Got some rare things. What are you buying? What are you selling? Right. Is that all? <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Ah. <laughs> what are you buying? Uh, do you have anything new? No. What are you buying? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Come back anytime. I will. Thank you.
There, that looks a bit better. There. Getting closer to how I, put, how I like my uh, stuff organised. Castellan Memo. For many years the Salazar family has served as the castellans of this castle. However, not everything is bright for my ancestry. Not everything is bright for my ancestry has a dark past. Long ago there was once a religious group that held deep roots in this region called the Los Illuminados. Unjustly, however, the first castellan of the castle took away their rights and powers. As a follower of this religion and as the eighth castellan, I felt that it was my duty as well as my responsibility to atone for that sin. I knew the best way to atone for this sin was to give power back to those who, were, who we once took it away from, the Los Illuminados. As expected, it took a little time, but we were able to rejuvenate the once sealed Los Plagas. With this success, I was one step closer to the revival of the Los Illuminados. The reason why I released the Los Plagas from deep under the from deep under this castle and gave them to Lord Sadler was not only to repay for the sins of my ancestors, but I felt certain that the Lord would make better use of this power to help save the world. To save those that have sinned with the pa sinned with the power of the Los Plagas and to cleanse their souls, creating a world without sinners, the way it was meant to be. Once cleansed, they would become one of the many Ganados where they will find their reason to live. And after the Lord has succeeded in creating the world in which he has envisioned, then the sins of my Salazar family will be atoned for. You are a proper little nut job. Uh, I saw something over here shiny. Yes. Bullets. Oh, that. I was wondering when you were going to make an appearance. God damn it. Stop doing that. Yes, I will use that actually. Because I can see this going badly for myself if this goes anything like the last episode. Want you two getting in the way? Shit! Oh, 
Come on, can't let him get to the thing. Did I get him? Yes! Whew. Don't have to deal with the bloody minigun now. Right, give me the key. I fear you, Leon. I'm out of breath too. That's just because I'm a, a rather large lad. There, what about you two? Alright. The sacrifice of six lives shall make the make the way for the true path. Okay. Hey, I remembered. I am a smart. Get off my back, old man. <gasps> Did you say old man, Mr. Kennedy? It might come as a surprise, but I'm only 20 years old. So you're just like all the others? A puppet of the parasites? Surely you don't think I'm the same as those diminutive ganados. The parasites, las plagas, are slaves to my will. I have absolute control. Well, I really don't give a damn. Rain or shine, you're going down. Get rid of our American friend. Cool. with that.
That got a bit tense. Right now I can pick up the things I wanted to collect. No. Go on. Wait, did they kill themselves? Idiots. Yes. Oh, is there stuff in here? There is a yellow herb. Perfect. Well, not quite. I still need a red and a green, but it will still be very much useful. Yes. I've got the goat. Because Leon is the goat. Oh, good. I think I remember this bit. Oh, hello. What do you miss? What? There was more of you? Oh, what? Well, I didn't. That didn't kill all of the all of them. Oh, that's bullshit. Can't get in there yet, I need Ashley. Give me all of the things, thank you. Oh goody, yeah, it is this bit. Normally I don't mind a garden maze. It's when they have uh, mutant dogs in them that I uh, object. It won't open. There's an indentation here. Two moons make one. alive I see so do you like my garden I see you've managed to work in a little of your twisted taste here too <laughs> sagacious as I am even I get lost here sometimes even if it takes your whole life you'll never get out do you know that no one dies without a cause 
You will satisfy the stomachs of my cute pets. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to tie up a few loose ends. Like chasing down a couple of rats. Two rats? If one's Lewis, who's the other? Huh. They're an intruder besides me? There is indeed. We all know who it is. This game's been out for a while. I'd be surprised if you didn't know. Dogs. Right, don't want to go up there yet. Bloody things. Stay still, you little shit. <gasps> yes! I could now complete one of you and sell one. You, and then put you in there. It's worth doing this. Yes, this way first. And then we go this way. I think. Somehow I knew you were going to drop something. First aid spray. Well, you took a few hits. Were you like boss dog or something? That takes me up back out there. I don't need to get back to those stairs. Have I killed them all? It's got quiet. No, there's probably going to be more, isn't there? Yes! I think that's all of the red, red chests in here. I could be wrong.
Oh, you little bastard. Right. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Now, I'm usually a fan of dogs. Not those ones. Especially with ones that have tentacles coming out the back like it's from the bloody thing. Put your hands where I can see them. Sorry, but following a lady's lead just isn't my style. Put them up now. Try using knives next time. Works better for close encounters. Leon. Long time no see. Ada. So it is true. True? About what? You, working with Wesker. I see you've been doing your homework. Why, Ada? What's it to you? Why are you here? Why'd you show up like this? <laughs> See you around. Ada! That was a blast from the past. <laughs> well, we got through another chapter and I didn't die. Yay! That's an achievement all by itself. But I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil 4. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.